I know my mom came here like as soon as it started because my grandpa was super invested. He loved the idea of his kids getting the best education there was out here. So so he let my mom and my sister come into this. And I know that it was the school was a lot smaller. It was in the basement of a church, I think, at first, and there were like classes and trailers. So my mom has talked about how it's expanded so much. Like every time she comes in, she doesn't recognize it because it's grown so much when she remembers her old teachers, like Mrs. Prince. I really love Mrs. Simpson. She's the language arts teacher for fifth and seventh grade. And she, she's very good at, she has really good curriculum and she's very good at teaching writing and reading. And I felt like I learned a lot with her and also she's really, really nice. Like M Mr. T's like, that's a really great question because it's a really hard concept to understand. So it makes you feel very valued. I don't think I'll get this rigorous ac uh, academic math in a lot of other places, and Mr. T really pushes me. Um, Miss Mim, of course, how can I forget? I think that she's very intellectual, and also she just, she cares a lot because, um, see, I had her fifth and sixth grade, it's been two years, but we still like say hi in the hallways. It's pretty awesome. They have, they like the students and they like teaching, so that makes them, super devoted, like they love Sycamore. History, I love history. Oh, he, just the way he talks, um, just almost everything. He has a lot of very niche Sycamore things. He has what we like to call the big stick. He whacks our desks with it. And it's not, it's not intense. He doesn't use that as punishment. It's more like a rite of passage, if you will. You can talk to your teachers so easily and they'll like really listen to you and they make you feel special. Mr. Lowell, he's pretty, not really laid back, but like he's, uh, I guess I feel like he's focused, but still like he's having fun with it. Like the classes are less large, which means that they can focus on singular students more easily. I went to a uh, different school and the school was just, it was blatantly easy. I could skate through classes without studying and now I came to Sycamore and I have to study for almost every test I take, which is great because it's going to help me prepare for high school. It's all well-rounded and you focus on every single category of like um, learning. And I think that's important because it gives you an idea about everything and you can grow in all those areas. I feel like here at Sycamore you have to work diligently in order to get a good grade and to grow more. And so it's very important that they, that we have the fun to have children who can't afford to go here can go here. If you really belong at Sycamore, then you'll know it as soon as you get here. You know, they let us fast forward, I guess, essentially. And in my opinion, when you come to high school and just elementary and middle school in general, there are always going to be classes that are required to take. But if you can like essentially skip some of those required classes by learning them earlier, by the time you get to high school and stuff like that, you'll be able to take more electives or what you want and you'll have more choice. You actually use the, the, this opportunity to make yourself better. It's nice to be able to know all this stuff just because it helps prepare you for the real world of business and CEOs and competition. Tremont was definitely my favorite. Tremont, mostly because you got to experience the hands-on nature and what you'd been learning in school and it was right in front of your face. Everybody, as like a class, we kind of bonded and got more connected that way. Field trips in general, I feel, are Obviously, you're physically getting away from school, but you're getting out of that mindset. Like, you don't really need to, like, I mean, obviously you need to learn, but like, you're not as focused on that. You're more focused on like, you know, where are we going? It's gonna be a cool place, you know, we're coming to. It's, they're kind of sneaking it in, like, here, just do this worksheet, and you know, look at look around, and, look, and you're like, wait, I, I learned something new, cool. It's not, it's never boring. There's never a boring day. Um, it helped challenge me, and it really helped me think more. 
some mm-hmm. people are given chances. Like I was given the mm-hmm. very lucky chance to go to Sycamore, and it's a great mm-hmm. school. But there are obviously those who don't have chances like that. And the people who don't have those chances, I feel like we need to give back to give them those chances. If you have enough money to give, you don't keep it all for yourself. You like help spread it out through the community. It's kind of like Robin Hood without the stealing. It's like it gives from the people who can like support themselves and it like gives the money to the people who maybe need a little extra money or just a little extra support. Well, it probably makes them feel like they're not alone in the, in the world. They're not um, suffering in silence. In an ecologic environment, diversity helps promote growth everywhere. So if you donate money, it helps other students grow just as much as you. So it creates some sort of symbiotic relationship. So you both can develop together. Because I think everyone deserves to get such an awesome education that Sycamore provides. And for those who can't afford it, like philanthropy can really help because you can put some of that money towards helping them get a great education. Well, it's definitely mutually beneficial. I mean, you feel a lot better after you give back to people. And when when you're at the bottom and you get some, and you have some help, that makes you feel better. I mean, it's just good to be able to give to other people it's like the circle of life like you want you want to put in and you also want to give it back like with learning and education and stuff like that everybody deserves a fan a fair chance with everything I like to, them to think about if they were in another's position how um, ups, how happy they would feel if someone were to um, give give some like help to them life everyone wants to have a purpose in life and I feel like this really helps give you that thought, oh, I have a purpose in life. It's we shouldn't judge people off of their monetary value or like their uh, social status. We should ju- judge them off like just them as a person. And I feel like there are a lot of people out in the world who are equal to us here at Sycamore. But they just don't have the opportunity to like take advantage of that intelligence. Sycamore kind of, I don't know, just has this energy like to learn, to be excited about learning. So. I think that makes it so magical because normally school is just so day to day, but Sycamore makes it about the whole year, about what you learn from the start of school to the very end. We're not against each other, we're all friends here. And I think that's what this community is for me.